it began with just their third game of last season. It didn't produce a win. It was part of an 0-4-3 start that from which the team never fully recovered. You got the feeling, talking to Pete DeBoer's players today, that if they weather this tough part of the schedule, the long travel, the tough teams, it's going to mean a lot to this group moving forward. Well, there's no doubt, Steve, we talked about all the distractions are gone. This is all about hockey, and the Devils have to, like again I mentioned, find their identity, play a good, solid game starting tonight. Off the stick of Yaramir Yager, his line with Travis Zajac and Mike Camilleri starting out for the Devils, played across by the captain Andrew Ladd, Brian Little behind the net, those two on with Blake Wheeler, and this is punched back to the point. Zach Pogosian with a shot. Defended away by the Devils, and Toby Enstrom will send it back in deep. Opening minute at the MTS Center. Every game of the Winnipeg Jets season is sold out. Yaramir Yager works this across, looking for Zajac, but broken up by Enstrom. In the Winnipeg zone, comes back to Marek Zidlitsky. That shot wouldn't go through. Eric Shelenau works it back to Zidlitsky and punched ahead quickly, Martin Havlat, but we have our first whistle. It looked like Yermar Yager didn't get back over the blue line in time, or the Devils would have had a quick break on the change there, Steve. Offside is the call. Tonight's starting lineups are brought to you by Infinity. Luxury cars that deliver inspired performance. Off the draw, played by fifth year Winnipeg Jet. Mark Stewart played across. Eric Shelena breaking up the rush by the Jets and taken here by Patrick Elias. He sends it in and Stewart guides this away from Elias. He's on with Michael Ryder and Martin Hadlack. Line that played very well the last game, producing both Devils goals in the last game. Evander Kane sees this knocked off his stick by Marek Zedlitsky. Punched ahead and taken here at center. Here's Stewart working it ahead to Matthew Perrault. Trying to inject some more offense into his team is Paul Maurice. He basically put the names in the, of the forwards in a blender, pressed Puri, and juggled everything tonight for his team. A different look. Goal scoring has been the issue this year, not defending for the Jets. And I always find, Steve, once you clean up your own end and tough to play against defensively, goals will come. Adam Larson with a shot blocked away in front. They have the personnel. Some guys to create some offense, but they've really decided, Coach Maurice, that is anyway, on really playing a tight defensive system, being very difficult to play against. And that shows in the defensive numbers that we'll give you as we move along. Speaking of defense, we saw show right here, Merrick Zidlitsky against a very speedy Evander Kane on a broken play through the neutral zone. And good start shows that he's engaged in this game and sharp right out of the gate because that's not easy. He made it look easy, but Evander Kane's got terrific speed. He tried the cutback move, and Zidlitsky would have none of it. Real good poke check. Off the draw, taken here by the Jets and fired in by Paul Postma. And here's Zidlitsky guiding it across. Nat Hallis chucked the one-time devil. Where's number 15? He's on for the Winnipeg Jets as this is played across. Chris Thorburn has checked into the boards, and now Zubris keeps the puck moving. Taken away by Jim Slater on the centering try, broken up. Shot from the point by Postma, collected, and that try by Slater, saved by Corey Schneider. It's still loose in front, and the Devils defend it away, and we get our first penalty. It's a hook. It's against New Jersey. Yeah, P Winnipeg applying some pressure, getting a couple of shots, and the Devils did a pretty good job of defending in front, but somebody's going off for hooking. We look right here. See the puck comes loose, quick shot on that, Jelena clears, and then I'm not sure exactly where the hook is. There's a good play by Eric Jelena. There's Bernier going for the puck, and in fact, it's Dinah Zubers. I didn't really see exactly, Steve, where the hook was, but the Devils go on the PK. 2.44 into the hockey game, the Jets' power play. Dustin Bufflin operates at the point, gives here to Brian Little, and his pass is broken up. So the Devils' penalty kill has come along in recent games. 11 for its last 11. Winnipeg's power play, 6 for 62, the third least efficient unit in the National Hockey League. 
Here's big Dustin Bufflin who fires in. Corey Schneider plays it behind the goal. Can't clear the zone as it's kept alive by Bufflin and worked across. Toby Emstrom fires, blocked by Adam Larson. Here's Bufflin with a follow-up shot, and that's blocked away as well. Oh, that hit Mike Camilleri just above the skate. And that was Dustin Bufflin who can really bring it. I hope he's okay. You see he's shaking his leg a little bit going to the bench. Stoppage of play on a hand pass in the neutral zone with 108 left on the power play. It shows you though Mike Camilleri I mean what a great addition he's been not only from a goal standpoint leading the team but he has done a real good job in the PK since he's been back and been a big part of the Devils penalty killing picking it up getting better the last three or four games. Devils have extra defensemen on this trip including Peter Harrell just called up from AHL Albany yesterday. Adam Henrique back with the Devils tonight. And on the kill here with Patrick Elias. Michael Hutchinson, the goaltender for Winnipeg, works it ahead. Jets look to break out, and there's the contribution of Henrik on the penalty kill to break that up at center. Adam Henrik reads the play so well there through the neutral zone. Able to intercept the saucer pass. Mark Scheifele returning from injury, and he dumps in and goes hard into the end boards. Scheifele shaken up and back to his skates. That's good to see. Another penalty coming up against the Devils. Shot by Jacob Truba is blocked away. And now uh, the whistle with 18 to go on the initial PK. Uh, I, I got to see this again because it looked to me like Shifley went in on his own. We'll see if, in fact, Severson did trip him here. Uh, I guess he just got his stick in there, but Shifley was coming awfully hard. And anytime you get that stick even toward the legs of skates, they're going to call it. So. The Devils have 18 seconds to kill off a five on three here. And they're in dangerous territory right now. Travis Zajac had a great night on faceoff Saturday, winning 14 of 20. This is an important draw. One back by Little in this situation, and here's Bufflin working it across. Toby Enstrom plays it down low. The Jets set up. Here's Bufflin firing, blocked away by Adam Larson. Andy Green, under pressure, tries to bank it ahead. Jets won't let it leave the zone. Larson steers it into the corner. Dinah Zubris out of the box, and the power play now is five on four. Sent across and guided back towards the point where Enstrom will hold the zone. The veteran Swedish defenseman and now played across. Wheeler plays it across for Little, and he shanked the shot. And sent out of the zone by Zubris. Oh, great job in the five on three for 18 seconds. Given away by the Jets and Bufflin. Zubris takes, shoots at a save by Hutchinson. Short-handed opportunity for Dinah Zubris, and now back the other way comes Andrew Ladd. The Winnipeg captain weaves his way through, and the save made by Schneider. I mentioned the great job on the five on three. Adam Larson, Andy Green position themselves superbly. Here we see Zubris out of the box to make it a five and four. Bufflin fans on his pass, and Zubris with a great opportunity, shorthanded. Here's some of the five on three I'm talking about. Adam Larson fronts the man, blocks a shot there. Andy Green jumped to the loose puck, and Devils do a good job. Still have some time to go on the five and four, though. Truba plays it across, shot by Bogosian. Devils have come out with a mantra of blocking shots here, and it's paid dividends early on the penalty kill. But Bogosian plays it across again, and played here by Matthew Perot. Truba at the point. His shot gloved by Schneider. He juggles, but he holds on. Quick, sneaky wrist shot by Truba, the youngster from the point. High draft pick for the Winnipeg Jets. He's a real good looking player, Steve. Didn't waste any time there. Dragged the puck to the middle, gets the shooting lane, and fires one at Schneider. He had to be sharp there with a Van de Kane right on the doorstep. Off the draw, Bogosian gloves it down and works it ahead. Jacob Truba, all of 20 years old, ninth overall pick in the draft back in 2012. Here's Eliash. Final 27 seconds of the Jets. Power play and the penalty to Damon Severson off for tripping. And Truba will start the rush again for Winnipeg. Shifley works it across. Now Bogosian goes wide. Centering try. Got through the crease. Continuing on is Bogosian. And now 
Works it ahead for Perot. Broken up by the Devils and sent the length of the ice by Camilleri. That should do it. The end of Damon Severson's minor. And Devils do a great job. They've really got to pick up from there. I mean, that can really boost you, killing a five on three for a short time. And then again, the rest of that five on four. And they did it with great body position and blocking shots, like you mentioned. The 30th rank penalty kill unit in the league. It's now killed off 13 in a row. Worked ahead by Zubris. Steven Gianta trying to get on the puck. Postma got it away just in the nick of time. And here's Thorburn back the other way for Winnipeg. Zubris able to collect this. And it's punched across to the stick of Gianta. Fourth line on here for the Devils. Zubris part of that with Bernier and Gianta. Controlled, though, by Adam Party. And here comes Winnipeg back the other way. Evander Kane gets his legs moving. Centering try. Bouncing puck. Picked up by Yager. Boy, does he have speed. Goes wide on Severson there. Good job of Jelena coming over to help out. This has to be confidence-inducing for the Devils on the penalty kill and something that creates momentum early, perhaps. We'll touch on that when we come back. Here's your chance to win New Jersey Devils tickets and an Adam Henrique signed puck in the WDHA Devils Watch and Win sweepstakes. Listen to the morning jolt on 105.5. WDHA tomorrow morning at 920. Remember the WDHA player to watch Patrick Eliash to call in for your chance to win. It's a nice little contest Steve. My friends at WDHA, Terry Carr and company there. And I've had some dealings with them. Great people and our local Jersey station. You gave a little morning jolt to me when <laughs> reading that promo. Well done my friend and off the draw. It's cleared away by Eric Jelena, tracked down by Cuomo Rutu. And the Devils are hoping they got a jolt, like you had mentioned, Steve, from that great penalty killing effort just moments ago. It was something that was really tearing away at the team's confidence for the longest time. And now a four-game stretch granted early tonight where it's been all good, and including a stretch of five-on-three penalty kill a moment ago. Played behind the net. Here's Frolik with a centering try. Comes instead to Bruner, who's able to clear the zone. Jacob Trubo will fire right back in. Good sign. I've watched Merrick Zidlitsky closely in his defensive end, and he's really using his stick wisely, breaking up numerous plays in the early going here. Two offensive-minded defensemen, one would say, and Jelena and Zidlitsky. Yager. Gets it back to the point, and that try by Andy Green is rifled wide and worked ahead to the stick of Blake Wheeler. Big Blake Wheeler puts the brakes on, all six foot five of them, and sends it into the corner. Jarred loose. Severson tried to get it out of harm's way, comes to Bogosian instead, and he works it across. Zach Bogosian can't hold the zone, and a delayed offside call here against Winnipeg. Devils get to work quickly. Here's the Manitoba native, Travis Zajac. Firing off the backboard. Hutchinson can't get it away. And now Zajac back to the point. Seth Helgeson sends it back in. Rookie defenseman in the opening week of his NHL career. Sticking for the time being here. Devils like what he's brought early on. Martin Havlat has this for New Jersey. Centering try. Looking for Eliash. Now Patrick able to control. Bogosian tried to take it away from him. And played behind goal for Toby Enstrom. Eighth-year NHL defenseman from Sweden, Toby Enstrom, recently played game number 500 of his career. And Eliash sends it in deep. Stewart jars the puck away from Michael Ryder, and it comes back out to center. Evander Kane racing into the devil's zone. Sealed off behind the net by Zidlitsky and Jelena. Maya Seafest. He was flying, and I don't think any Devils were aware that he was streaking through the neutral zone. All of a sudden, the defenseman go, we got to get on our horse here, and got back just in time, Jelena and Zidlitsky there. That's the thing about the Jets so far this season, Kenny. It's been a minimal contribution from Kane. He's got only five points, but yet this is a team that's done more than respectable in the opening quarter of the year. Yeah, surprising that Evander Kane hasn't been more of a factor offensively with the way he skates with the shot he can bring. and They're going to expect more out of him. That's where they want to improve from an offensive standpoint. 
A guy like Evander Kane. Missed a stretch with injury, but even since then, the contribution numerically anyway has been somewhat minimal. Here's Halaschuk in the corner. Puck taken away from him by Adam Larson. Good pace to the hockey game. Under nine or just over nine minutes to go in the opening period as Party plays it behind goal. Gets it back from Postma. Game day in Winnipeg is such an event. All of downtown a buzz on game day here when the Jets come back from a long road trip as they are tonight. Here's Party working it ahead. Slater gets it out of the zone, but it comes all the way back to Andy Green. Steered ahead by Henrique at the end of his shift. Camilleri rides Postma into the boards. Devils take the puck away and controlled here by Yager. Able to use the long reach, sends it towards goal, deflected in front. Hardy trying to get this out of harm's way for Winnipeg. Under pressure, here's Yager. Works it across, tried to get up for the stick of the cutting Andy Green, but broken up. Real good pickup by Andrew Ladd. Andy Green sneaking in and Ladd. Pick that up right away, or that was going to be a great opportunity on the pass from Yager to Green. Here's Andy Green on the move again. Zajac has this for New Jersey. Drops it back, trying to control his Green, but taken off his stick by Ladd. Played across, picks up Ryan Little at the circle, and that's blocked away by Zedlitsky. Little. Sealed off by Green, who works the puck away. And Stewart is on here for Winnipeg. Again, Merrick Zidlitsky. Good to see him very focused defensively, as well as Andy Green. And we expect that from Andy Green. Off the stick of Ryder. This puck off the glass and stays in play. Truba sent the length of the ice. Bufflin. Wins the race to the dot, and that waves off the icing. Endears himself to the fans here in Winnipeg, and the Devils deflected out of the zone. Steve, I saw you shaking your head a little bit. You were a little concerned with the way the Devils communicated with Corey Schneider again, and we've seen them have problems with the puck and where it's going to be placed. Taken here by Bufflin. He shoots, and it's fired wide. You want to see them avoid that mistake with the goaltender misplaying the puck. Deflected in front. That's Bufflin without a stick who lost his edge. Havlak can't work it away. And it's punched out to center to Stewart again. Those isolated mistakes that even Corey Schneider has alluded to here that they have to be eliminated moving forward. No score here, no harm, no foul. Six and a half to go in the first. We're going to look at some of the defensive work from the Devils defenseman. I like what I've seen. So far, and Andy Green on a speedy Blake Wheeler. Andy crosses over so well. He reminds me of a crab, one of those fiddler crabs that move <laughs> equally as well to the side, to the front, to the back, and ever so steady. And there you see Merrick Zidlitsky again with blocking the pass, which could have been a dangerous opportunity for Winnipeg. So the Devils defensemen have been sharp. I know they haven't created much yet, Steve, a lot of that because early on Winnipeg was on a 5-3 and three and had some power plays, but now they get their opportunity here. Devils going their first power play. Zajac line is on. Camilleri and Yager, Zidlitsky and Severson are the point men. Damon Severson's mom and dad are in the house. They've made the drive from Saskatchewan. I'm talking to Severson today. He's awfully excited because this is mom and dad's first time actually to get to getting this year to watch them live in a National Hockey League game. They say they'll get to New Jersey right around the holidays to watch him play at home. One of the more impressive rookies in the season's opening month. Zidlitsky carries in himself. Banks it off the boards to Henrik, and now Zajac covering the point. Dishes off to Camilleri. Devil set up. This is Mike Camilleri. Drops it back to Severson and plays it across. Zidlitsky to the rookie defenseman. Severson shoots, save made in front. Truba tries to clear it away. Punched ahead by Shifley. Short-handed come the Jets. Wheeler does the crossover, and that's broken up. <laughs> what a move by Wheeler and Damon Severson. Looked like he was beat, but just was able to drag his right skate and intercept that, and Camilleri was also coming back to help out. Bruner steps on to continue the power play, and Elias. Works it across. Martin Havlat over the line. Devils, though, are offside. 39 to go on the power play. 
Well, here's the chance shorthanded. Blake Wheeler, Damon Severson's kind of coming back at an angle where he's not set yet going backwards, so he has to come across, but he's able to get that right skate, dragging the right leg as well on Wheeler's toe drag attempt or stick handling maneuver. Half a minute to go on the slashing penalty to Evander Kane. Here's Bruner darting out of his own end. Damian Bruner over the line. Goes wide on Enstrom, and it comes here to Eric Jelenov. Punched back in by Eliash. It winds around, and Ladd will send it the length of the ice. Only 10 seconds left here. Devils got time for one more quick rush. Only the one shot by Severson that was a scoring attempt. Bruner gained the zone quickly. Deflected away. Slater can't clear it. A try by Jelena is deflected out of play. The penalty is up. Four and a half to go in the opening period. We're scoreless. Stay with us for the GMC intermission report. This little devil is uh, was not the only hockey player in his family growing up. He's still not the only hockey player in his family. Even his wife is a center. We'll go one on one with the Winnipeg native coming up, guys, on the GMC intermission report. Did we give it away? Well, it's good to know he was a captain at such a young age. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> He's got the same face. <laughs> Severson at the point, blocked away by the goaltender Hutchinson. Damon Severson continues to get shots through from the point. Andy Green, checked by Big Dustin Bufflin, who has about 50 pounds on Andy Green, roughly. And now Bufflin takes the puck away. Green goes right back at him. Kane on the move here for Winnipeg. Put it on the stick of Tuomo Rutu, who works it across. And here's Ryder, back the other way. Party for Kane, and here come the Jets breaking out. Cross-ice pass for Perot, got by him. Larson will wind it around to the stick of Travis Zajac. One hands it deep into the Winnipeg end. 3.40 to go in the opening period. Party trying to muscle it out of the zone. He's got a guy named Yager providing obstruction there. Taken away by the Devils. Zajac in deep for Camilleri. Postma taken away by Camilleri. Centering try off the stick of Zajac and back the other way come the Jets. Vlad into the equipment of Corey Schneider. 19 games, 19 starts for Corey Schneider, equaling Marty Brodeur's club record for consecutive starts at the beginning of a season. It was obvious the streak wouldn't end tonight. Schneider loves playing in Winnipeg. His first three professional seasons played in this city were with the AHL's Manitoba Moose. In 08-09, he had a goals against a 2.04. He was the American Hockey League's outstanding goaltender. And Corey Schneider's mentioned he's had some bad luck. And as well as wanting to shore up those weak goals he's given up. But other than that, he's played extremely well, Steven. We have moose footage, Dano. <laughs> and there you see him playing in the AHL, nurturing or honing his skills and getting himself ready for National Hockey League. But he was a terrific goalie down there. And the Manitoba Moose, they Used to pack this building for them as well in the American Hockey League. 21 postseason games in that best year that he had in 08 09. Next step as a professional for him, the Vancouver Canucks following that. Zubris digs it away, but it's on the stick of Ladd and played across. Here's Blake Wheeler. Sent in deep. Zach Pagosian tries to drop it back for Wheeler. Bumped by Bernier. Zubris pins Brian Little against the boards. It's jarred loose and taken here by Gianta. The shot 7-3 in favor of the Jets. They had some big power play time early. It's partly reflective of that. I just saw a big hit along the wall by Bernie and Lowry. And you want to see the Devils get physically engaged as well. And Bernie got the job done there. Stewart back in his own end for Winnipeg. Scheifele. Was concerned that Mark Scheifele might have an injury that would impact him long term. He's back the very next game after being shaken up Sunday 
in a game at Minnesota. Bouncing puck picked up here by Adam Lowry, who works it ahead. Jelenov in the puck battle with Scheifele. Mark Scheifele comes out of the corner and now sends behind the net for Lowry. Puck possession here by the Jets. Scheifele in traffic, bumped by Eliash. Devils still can't get it out of the zone, though. Now Zedlitsky delivers a hit on Scheifele. Eliash ahead for Ryder. And the pressure here by Winnipeg, unrelenting as Froelich controls on the opposite side, sends it towards goal. Schneider makes the save and covers. Well, the Devils getting hemmed in there, and they had a chance to get it out. And they have to make sure that puck gets out. Jets get another chance. There you look at coach Paul Maurice, and I, I still find it hard to believe, Steve, he coached in this league at 28 years old. There you see his 17th season as an NHL head coach. Went to the Stanley Cup Finals back in 2002 with the Carolina Hurricanes, eventually losing to Detroit. But a lot of experience. And as he's gone along the way, I think he's learned a lot as well. And He's a guy that knows the game. He's a student of the game, that's for sure. 47, well-respected, and as Bogosian fires away, that's saved by Schneider. And he's entrusted with the task of returning playoff hockey to this hockey-crazed city for the first time since 1995-96, the last season in Winnipeg for the now Arizona Coyotes. A minute to go in the opening period here. Camilleri for the devil will work it across Andy Green able to collect wrist shot save made by Hutchinson Bogosian looks to work it out Severson keeps it alive Camilleri covering the point for the Devils and Enstrom now deep in his own end for Winnipeg taken away by the Devils and Yager centering try goes all the way back and Green will take in the neutral zone well, Winnipeg showing some of that stifling D Devils spending a good amount of time in there but Camilleri down low. Yager tries to return the pass. Now a centering try deflected off Camilleri in front. Two on two the other way. Here's Kane. He's got Bufflin with him, and Dustin Bufflin was offside. What do we know about the Jets goaltender? A former third-round pick of the Bruins, Michael Hutchinson. They had no role for him. He reached New Heights last season, winning AHL playoff MVP honors for the St. John's Ice Caps. They made the final, lost in the Calder Cup final. Dano, his goals against is 1.49 <laughs> out of the gate. Yeah, as good as Winnipeg's playing defensively and as far as system, both goaltenders have been terrific. Hutchinson included in that as the backup. Doing a nice job, and he catches with the opposite hand. The right-handed catcher, which you don't always see. And with that, first period comes to an end in Winnipeg. There's no score at the MTS Center. The GMC first intermission coming up. Back in Winnipeg where there's no score, but plenty of first period highlights. Dano. Yeah, you see Evander Kane there coming through the neutral zone with speed. Good stick by Merrick Zedlitsky there. And the Devils on the penalty kill much of the first half of that period do a real good job blocking shots, sticks in the lane. See the Jets moving the puck around. It takes a lot of courage. Adam Larson does there to get in the lane of a one-timer by Dustin Bufflin. Brian Little puck hops over his sticker. That was probably a sure goal. So fortunate for the Devils there on the pass. But again, doing a good job with their sticks, keeping the Jets to the outside. And the Jets team has a lot of speed. You see Blake Wheeler there on Andy Green. He plays it so smoothly, stays with him, able to knock him down as well. And again, Brian Little on his off wing, good opportunity, but Merrick Zedlitsky breaks up the pass, and Damon Severson almost beat by Blake Wheeler. That was on a shorthanded situation. Gets the right leg out. And here's one point the Devils, I've seen the last few games, that they have to make sure of. You're going to see they're battling, they're spending time in their end. Michael Ryder had a chance to get that puck out. You have to make sure. Jets got another couple opportunities there, and that was the cause of the winning goal against Colorado, in my opinion. Kenny, Friday night on MSG Plus 2, the Devils take on the Oilers. Live coverage gets underway with Visa Devils game night at 9, Devils Oilers. Friday night on MSG Plus 2, but later that evening, the game will be picked up on MSG Plus. We'll explain as we move along on, you can check MSG.com for channel locations. 
four shots for the Devils, as Deb told you, in the opening period of play. Nine for Winnipeg and a distinct advantage in faceoffs by the Jets as well. 12-5 is what we have officially now. And underway, second period at the MTS Center. Completion of the season series between these two teams coming rather early in the year. Devils won the first meeting in a shootout back on October 30th. The slump buster as it's known. Postma lost his edge and now able to recover for Winnipeg. Loose along the near boards and picked up instead by Winnipeg and Michael Froelich. Cup winner with the Chicago Blackhawks in 2013. Sent that through the crease and the shot by Postma is blocked away. Gianta fills the lane on that try. Froelich sees it knocked off his stick and Bernier lifts it away for New Jersey. Devils staying in good defensive position. This Jets team is on the puck quick. They don't give you a lot of room to make plays. You've got to make your decision with the puck quickly. Picked up at center. Here's Yaramir Yager. Going wide on Toby Enstrom, who poke checked it away. And punched out the center. That first game after a long road trip, which is what the Jets are experiencing now, you see a sack sometimes, but you don't see that so far. No, you haven't. You're absolutely right, Steve. You usually see a little bit of a... Slug first period, but you can see any of that from the side scoring. They're really moving their feet. Down low, just missed the connection with Wheeler in front. It's Andrew who comes in deep and here by Brian Little. Got it back to the point. Andrew to Gosia. Puck runs down. Matthew Perot on the puck to Winnipeg. Banking off the boards and got all of that. There you look at. Winnipeg native Travis Sajak and you know you see coach DeBoer talked about he's so responsible in every area of the ice no question and you watch it night in night out he's a smart heady hockey player good defensive but you saw he had zero shots last game and I keep preaching maybe it's just me he really they score off the rebound Dano the centering try in front and the Jets take the one nothing lead two minutes in Matthew Perrault, number 85. Well, it started on the draw, Steve. You watch Matthew Perrault able to kick it back, and nobody's able. He gets body position in the high slot. Pass comes from the corner. He's able to go backhand upstairs. Heck of a shot by Matthew Perot, but it all started by the face-off win from Perot where he was kind of a draw and he kicked it back with his right skate. 18 goals last season for Perot with Anaheim. And he gives his team the lead. First goal is a Winnipeg Jet for Matthew Perot. Now Bufflin plays it back in deep. Jelena looks to bank it out of the zone, picked up instead by the Devils. Now Ryder on the puck for New Jersey. Here's Michael Ryder, the return pass, it's blown by Hutchinson, and he holds on. Let's take a look at the goal again. You see there, a nifty little play by Perot to be able to kick that back to his defenseman. Ends up in the corner, goes to him in front, and it doesn't look for Mark Stewart, who comes down from his defensive position, gives it to the forehand of Pro, and he's got body position. That was the key, where he's able to pull it to his backhand. No devil was able to get on the inside of him there, and he goes upstairs, gives the Jets the lead. Stewart, the lone assist. Quick shot off the draw by Bruner is saved by Hutchinson. Slater gets it back and races ahead here for the Jets. Leaves this for Postman. His shot is rifled wide. Long carom all the way back into the Jets' end. And now the Devils just have to stay with it here and get themselves an opportunity, Steve. Helgeson shot wide. Larson shanked the chance. It's a two-on-one for the Jets. Slater walks in. He shoots, and Schneider got a piece of that. Good save by Corey Schneider. Slater coming off the wing. Good opportunity, good angle. 
Larson behind the net. Opening three and a half minutes of period two. The Jets striking first. That puck deflected up high on Dinah Zubris. Back the other way come the Jets. Frolink with a shot. Saved by Schneider. They score on the rebound. Mark Scheifele for a 2-0 lead. Jets really coming in waves now using their speed. And there you see Bogosian. Devils don't get the puck in deep. He stands up in the blue line, gets it to Pro League. Just a quick shot. Mike Mark Scheifele there for the rebound. You see too much time to cut to the middle for Pro League. And then Scheifele comes right there and picks up the rebound on his backhand as well. Able to get it upstairs and give the Winnipeg Jets a 2 to nothing lead. Third of the year for Scheifele. They were unsure about his status for the game tonight. And a big goal as Winnipeg strikes twice in the opening minutes of the second. They're chanting Corey Schneider's name at the MTS Center. Taken by Brian Little off the backboard. Looks to set up lag. Now Wheeler in the corner. He's checked by Severson who works it across, and here's Mike Camilleri on the move for the Devils. Frolik, the primary assist on the goal. Yager, return pass for Camilleri. Tries to bank this off Hutchinson, it's still loose at the side of the net. And now, we get the whistle. Uh, we talked about how solid the Devils were around their net in that first period. But all of a sudden, now we see the Devils get their opportunity. Camilleri skating through the neutral zone, gets to the Yager, gets the return pass, and he gets the puck toward the net, tries a bank shot off Hutchinson. So the Devils haven't had a lot of chances trying to get anything they can toward the net, but when I mentioned Steve Devils doing a good job, and all of a sudden, you see a little too much of a high slot area open. Devils not shutting those that lane down, and both goals a result of that. Gonna have to get back to that solid defensive posturing when they're in their end. This is taken away by Jacob Truba. On the goal by Shifley, Frolik and Bogosian get the assists at 338. And the next one, you might argue, is huge. Comes out the center, and Truba able to guide that puck away from Eliash. Sent back into the devil's end and worked across here by Jelena. Zidlitsky. Pass just out of the reach of Michael Ryder, and this will go for an icing call against New Jersey. Time now for the Cadillac trivia question. The Jets Thrashers franchise has the longest current hat trick drought in the NHL. What former devil had the franchise's last hat trick? This might surprise a few people. You follow the Dale Devils daily. Every year you might figure it out. But. Not the prototype goal scorer who did it, you're saying. Here's Postma <laughs> with a shot. Schneider holds on to this. Well, it's not the man who I thought it was originally. But we figured that out quickly after. Again, Steve Devils, we talked about the next goal and the importance you did anyway of, of what it might mean. And they've only had six shots on goal and give the Jets a lot of credit for that. I mean. They're really skating. They've got a lot of speed. They've really started this second period off with a bang. So the Devils got to get something going and get some shots on that. Spend some more time in the Jets zone. Worked into the Devils end by Adam Lowry and Seth Helgeson is back. Winds it around, but to the stick of Pro League. His pass back to the point, picked off by Tuomo Rutu, who darts back the other way. Tried to feed it across for Bruner, and broken up by the Jets. 2-0 Winnipeg. Goals by Perrault and Scheifele here in the second to start the scoring. Now Lowry sends behind the net. Out of the reach of Scheifele. Scheifele and given back to the stick of Adam Henrique. He darts out. First game back from injury, Henrique. 
It's Bruner who got smothered at center ice by the defenseman party. And each team gets fresh legs on. Here's Thorburn. Taken away by Yager. Camilleri will give chase. He's checked by Bogosian. Now some help coming from Zajac. Travis Zajac takes the puck away. Looks to work it back. Skated away, though, by Halaschuk, who dumps in. Thorburn waiting on the opposite side. Loose puck picked up by the Jets and stick the side here by Schneider. Andy Green will hammer this out of the zone. You know, earlier I was talking about Travis Sajak, and I think he's got such a good, quick, hard snapshot, wrist shot, that he has to use it more, more than he does. And that's what I mentioned. He didn't have a shot and goal last game, and like I said, he does so many things well, but they could use a goal or two from that line, certainly tonight, to get them going. Bernier, near side, picked up by Gianta, who banks it away. Looking for the turning point any way they can find it right now, the Devils. And Zubris with a hit there to try to get something going on Enstrom. Giotto with the centering try. Picked off by the Jets and Little. Plays it across. Andrew Ladd tries to maneuver around Zedlitsky. Good help from Jelena. Starts the Devils the other way. Three on two if they hurry. The trailer, Giotto, taken away. The odd man rush nearly goes the other way for Winnipeg. And now... Bodies collide at center. That was Zubris and his own teammate, Gianta. They both head for the bench. Yeah, he sent Gianta flying, did not see him, and the bigger Zubris put Gianta on his backside, more on his head, really, from kicking his feet out. Here's Havlat. His shot on the off wing is blocked away by Stewart. Taken by the Jets. Onside is Evander Kane. The sharp angle shot, and he just cracked it off the side of the net. Loose along the near boards. Truba trying to control this, but it skitters away, and now Eliash will give chase with Stewart back. Jets just returned from that five-game road trip, finishing up with a loss on Sunday, 4-3 in overtime, where they came back from three down to at least earn a point. Paul Maurice called that a fantastic result. The shot by Bufflin off the side of the net and trying to jam it in on the opposite side was Perot. Real good quick reaction from Corey Schneider. Perot with the quick wraparound on the rebound and Schneider got his right pad out. Lifted away here by Henrique. The shots are 18-6 in favor of Winnipeg. Nine minutes into the second. Here's Lowry over the line. Lowry shot, fought off by Schneider. Tries to guide it back to the point, but picked up instead by Rutu. He's checked at center, collided with one of the officials on the near boards. It's Pierre Rassico. Devils back the other way, but that pass picked off by Lowry, and he sends Shifley into the devil zone. Mark Shifley, one of the goal scorers tonight, behind the devil's net. 55 and blue, takes a check from Jelena. Yager tried to work it across. Bouncing puck is picked up here and settled down by Camilleri. Mike Camilleri able to weave his way into the Jets' end. Puts the brakes on, he wants Yager. Camilleri able to control, deflected away, off the skate of Ladd, and taken here by Yager. Work back to the point. Here's Zidlitsky. He fires. That's deflected in front wide. Well, there was a good shot by Zidlitsky, and the Devils get a stick on it, tipped wide, but that's probably one of the ways we're going to get any kind of opportunity at Hutchinson because he hasn't had a lot of work, but you need to redirect pucks. Here's Zach Bogosian for Winnipeg. With the franchise since the Atlanta Thrasher days. They got to Winnipeg, and he said immediately, I felt like a rock star. Totally different atmosphere here north <laughs> of the border. I'd imagine that's a little culture change from the hockey perspective. Schneider gets rid of it with Slater winding around. Well, I say a culture shock, I should say. A great hockey atmosphere, as you might imagine. Here's Zubris back the other way. Diana Zubris sends it in deep. Gianta on the move. Stewart got it into the corner. That's all. Zubris with a centering try, but picked up instead by Thorburn for Winnipeg. 
31-year-old Chris Thorburn into Schneider who holds on under nine minutes to go in the second. Devils have to fight from behind. They trail by two. Well, we haven't had time to take a breath here, Steve, as there hasn't been any whistles till now, but you see Steven Gianta right at center ice here goes flying over Dinah Zubers as they collide going for the puck and Gianta shaking up there you see and here's the opportunity Bufflin with the shot and Perot with the wraparound has the whole side of the net but Corey Schneider is able to get that right pad out and make a big save there to keep the game within striking distance Jets playing one heck of a game right now they're moving their feet they're skating outstating the Devils right now and, and you see they have no lasting effects from their long road trip as they've come back and really firing on all cylinders and able to take a two goal lead early in the second period here. They went 2-2-1 two, two, and one on that road trip playing in an excellent central division they're currently in fourth place and competing on the defensive side of the puck. Jets goals against average as a team is 2.1, fourth best in the NHL at the start of play tonight. And it's very noticeable with their forwards, the back checkers coming back. Perot tried to one-time it. Andy Green had none of that. Giving the Devils no opportunity. Every time the Devils gain the blue line, they try to turn back and make a play, but there's a Jet there every time to pick off the pass and go the other way with speed. Postma. Picks up Perot, who's over the line. Checked by Green. Kane delivers a hit on Severson. And Ryder works it ahead to the stick of Martin Havlat. Devils with a three on two the other way. Green back to Havlat, but broken up. And Truba just missed connecting with Scheifele. That was, that was big Dustin Bufflin coming back hard. Havlat to Elias, who fired it wide. Havlat again, and he fired off the side of the net. Ryder back to the point. Punched in deep by Jelena. Elias tried to center that puck for Havlat. Controlled instead. Ryder at the point. That shot went nowhere. Puck comes out the center. And Zidlitsky will guide it back here to Jelena. Here's Havlat. Devils trying to take some of the game back here. Now Yager's shot and that's stopped by Hutchinson. Kept alive by Elias to the stick of Yaramir Yager. Worked off his stick and punched out the center, and Frolik sends into the double zone. Good back check by Camilleri to help break that surge up. And picked up here by Yager. Now Camilleri in transition for the Devils. Able to guide it across. Severson picks up Yager. He shoots, and he rang it off the post. Another try by Yager. Turns around, but it's blocked away. Great play by the Devils. Best surge of this hockey game. Couple of good opportunities, and Yager bangs one off the pipe. On a good three-way passing play. Boy, that would have been nice for them to go and give the Devils some life and cut the lead to one, but they've hit a lot of posts this year, haven't they? They sure have. That one keeps this a two-goal game, and Wheeler just fires that inadvertently into his own bench, and with that, we'll step aside. 6.29 to go in the second. Two-nothing deficit in Winnipeg. Back in Winnipeg, the Jets Thrashers franchise has the longest hat trick drought in the NHL. What former devil had the franchise's last hat trick? Kovalchuk might be a popular guess, but the right <laughs> answer is Eric Bolton. That was December 8, 2010 against the Devils. That was a 7 1 loss. Eric Bolton did not have a hat trick for the New Jersey Devils. He did not score a goal in his time with the franchise. Great character player, still playing with the Islanders, but no, you didn't expect him to score three goals. Sometimes three was tough in a season, but three in one night against the Devils, that was a career night for Eric Bolton. And always exciting for a tough guy to, mm -hmm. to get himself a hat trick. This puck goes out of play. And with 6 15 to go, we get the stoppage. The faceoff back in the Devil's end. It's a delay of game call. And Dinah Zubris has to go to the box. Well, there you go in his own end. Dinah Zubris with the backhand. And goes right over the glass and out. And that's delay of game. And 
Not what the Devils wanted to see at this time in the hockey game, down two, going back on the penalty kill. Henrique wins the draw back. Adam Larson starts the kill by sending this the length of the ice. What the Devils do have on the penalty kill, Henrique and Eliash together, that's a tandem that is dangerous shorthanded. Keep that in your back pocket as it's played here by Bufflin. Sends deep into the zone, picked up here by Wheeler, and played back to the point. Toby Enstrom across for Bufflin. Dustin Bufflin shoots, blocked away by Green. Larson delivers a check on Wheeler, guided back to the point. Here's Enstrom who gives it up. Collected by Little, centering try, taken away, and cleared away by Elias. Yeah, they're really in sync on their penalty kill, that's for sure. Adam Henrique just coming back after missing six games with a real good pickup of the stick in the slot there. It was a good chance for the, for the Winnipeg Jets. Great job by Zajac. Defending the Jets trying to gain the zone as it's punched back here and Bufflin works it across in the direction of Perot. Devils clear it away. Camilleri trying to control the bouncing puck taken away by Enstrom instead. Quick shifts for the Devils. Zajac was on. Zajac came off. Gianta replaces him. He remains on with Camilleri. Picked up here by Bufflin who fires in. Perot controls on a second chance. Shifley back to the point. Here's Bufflin to the side of the net. Centering try by Kane. Got through everybody. And here's Enstrom on the puck. Kane at the circle. Shoots. That's blocked away again. Andy Green filling the lane time after time. Now Severson will send this the length of the ice. Well, Andy Green blocked that shot from Evander Kane. And that was a rocket, so that had to sting. But they doing a good job in the PK again. Final seconds of the Jets' power play. Route 2 clears it away. That'll do it. Zubris out of the ice. And another terrific kill by New Jersey. 14 of their last 14. And they have to figure a way, Steve, to gain some momentum from that. The Jets have given them not much. Little drops it back. That's sticked aside by Schneider. Collected by Rutu and Bruner. Works it across. Cuomo Rutu drops it for Jelena, and that's defended away by the Jets. Punched back. Wheeler works it across. Andrew Ladd sends it in deep. Blake Wheeler controls, guides it back to Truba. That shot blocked away again in front. That's Route 2 who got in the way. Truba looking to control, got it ahead. That's Little on a backhand, but it's deflected away. Surge by the Jets again. Wheeler's try, broken up, and now Route 2 punches it to center. Jelena to collect here. 3.15 to go in the second period, what's been a good one for the home team so far. Scoring twice to take the lead. Camilleri gets going at center. Worked it on a backhand. Scheifele there to pick it off. Well, if you're the Devils, you had your surge about two, three minutes ago before the PK. Good chance. Post from Yarmar Yager. You want to get, get something out of this period. Get a goal. Cut it, the lead to one. It's Helgeson. Banks it off the backboard. Now Camilleri following up strong. Camilleri bumped by Scheifele. Zajac in the corner. It's jarred loose. Yager keeps the puck moving. Froelich to get on this for Winnipeg. And he'll lift it away. Here's Helgeson back. About a seven-hour drive in good weather, he says, from his hometown of Fairbow, Minnesota. And there's not much to look at along the way. Here's Larson. <laughs> A lot of open fields, and I suppose now white stuff as Helgeson fires in. As they say in Green Bay, a lot of frozen tundra. <laughs> Absolutely. Back to the point. Take it here. Severson with a shot. Loved by Hutchinson. The rebound sitting there. Turnaround shot is fired wide. Off the stick of Andy Green. Oh, two chances on the follow-up by New Jersey. Well, great pressure by the Devils. Just unable to find a way. Missed the net a couple times, a couple of blocks. And Hutchinson made one real good save. Played back to the point. Party sends it across. Postma trying to get that shot through. Deflected away. Got it back to the point. Here's Party again. That try blocked by Henry. Bufflin deep in the devil's zone. Now Perot works it back towards the point. 
Hardy's try. Steered across by Kane, and it went through the crease. A minute 20 to go in the second period as it comes out to center. Stewart fires into the Devils' end. And it got by the stick of Truba. Collected by Wheeler. Makes a move around Green. Plays it across. Centering try by Ladd is broken up by Severson. Yeah, a little wide open in front. Real good play by Damon Severson getting the stick down and breaking up that play. Truba, quick shot. Gloved by Schneider. He'll hold on. 49 ticks of the clock to go. Period two. A little earlier in the period, Severson with a real nice pass to Yermer Yager. He beats goaltender Hutchinson, but digs one off the post. One of the only real good, clean looks the Devils have had. And then you see David Severson again. He's been active in this period. Gets the shot off. Hutchinson has a tough time handling it, but the rebound bounces over Ruth to stick, or he would have had an empty net. So the Devils not getting a lot. And give the Jets credit. Doing a real good job defensively, but they have had some pretty good surges here in the last five minutes, Steve, and nothing to show for it. Wheeler's shot fired wide. Now Blake Wheeler tries to come out in front with it on the wraparound, and it's defended away. Here's Ladd. Half a minute to go in the period. Wheeler from the circle off the skate of Henrique, who controls and banks it away. Icing against the Devils with 24 seconds left in the period. The Islanders tonight victorious at home, defeating the Tampa Bay Lightning by the final score of 5-2. to two. The other local team back in the New York, New Jersey area in action tonight. The yeah, Islanders playing some pretty, pretty darn good hockey. and The acquisitions they made on defense and in goal in the offseason have paid dividends. We'll see them for the first time, Dano. Coming up that Saturday night following the Thanksgiving holiday. First meeting between the Metropolitan Division rivals this season. Centering try by Eliash to the stick of Enstrom, and a penalty is coming up. It's an interference call against the Jets. Devil's power play will go to work. Yeah, Andrew Ladd, the captain of the Jets, impeded Adam Henrique going for a loose puck and sent him flying. You're going to see right here. There we go, and he gets his stick and body. Adam Henrique. Can't get to the puck, and that's an interference call. And only eight seconds left here, but Devils looking for any kind of life. And if it's not with this eight seconds left, they got a whole minute 52 to start the third on the power play. Controlled by the Jets, and Frolik will have one of the final touches here. Now the Zamboni will help the power play to start period number three. 152 of carryover penalty time. Stan Fischler sits down with NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman on the second intermission next. Skate down to Prudential Center after class for the Devils 2014-15 College Knights. Upcoming games include November 28th against the Detroit Red Wings. Tickets are available with a valid student ID at a special price. To purchase tickets, visit NewJerseyDevils.com slash college or call 1-800-NJ-DEVIL. 2-0 Jets after two here in the second period. Highlights, Dano. Yeah, the Jets pressing early on in this period. And this is a real good play by Mark Stewart finding Perot in the slot. And he goes backhand upstairs to give the Jets a 1-0 lead. And there you see Adam Larson fan on that shot. Slater on the partial two-on-one. Corey Schneider gets a piece of that. And then here you see this puck. This is unfortunate for the Devils. Deflects off of Dinah Zubris' face, and the Jets are able to go the other way. They get the quick shot off the rebound. Shifley again on the backhand, and another one that goes upstairs. So that was a little unfortunate. That puck goes deep, and that play probably never materializes. Nonetheless, the Jets were flying. They're up 2 nothing, And now the Devils get a couple of chances. Yermer Yager on the nice pass from Severson. Snaps one off the post. We've seen a lot of that this year where the Devils are close but hit a lot of posts. There, Severson with a shot. Hutchinson can't handle it. Bounces over Roos to stick on the rebound. And the Devils, late in that period, were much better. Steve had some chances, but they got to find a way to put the puck in the back of the net. And they have a minute 52 on the power play. 
to get themselves back in this hockey game. This game is still there for the taking. The one in Toronto, not so much. Nashville now, an 8 nothing lead over the Maple Leafs at the Air Canada Centre. You think they're a little restless there. Here's Camilleri on the power play, sets up Henrique. Stewart's stick is tied up, he can't control. And now Henrique into the corner. Zajac on the backhand, shovels it across. Severson with a shot, and it's deflected off a stick high and wide. Under pressure, Zidlitsky, and Truba will clear it away. Well, Vander Kane was in the open, in the clear, but he kind of bobbled or slipped on his skate. Unable to get that pass from Truba, or it would have been a break. Kane took the puck away shorthanded, and now worked away to the stick of Severson. Rookie defenseman guides it into the Winnipeg end. Devils change personnel on the power play, and this has sent the length of the ice. Good start to the penalty kill for Winnipeg. Not much going here yet for the Devils, and they have some time. they got to get set up in the Winnipeg end. Havlat works it across, able to pick up Eliash on a backhand. Save made by Hutchinson, and the rebound, they score. It trickled over the line. He never had full possession, and it's a power play goal that gets the Devils back in the game. And for Patrick Eliash, finally. Well, I think Havlet may have poked this loose puck in, Steve, so it might be Havlet's goal, but regardless, Patrick Eliash makes the play, and he's going to definitely get a point on this. We'll take a look at the replay. The breakout here, Havlet feeds Patrick with a nice backhand saucer. He cuts in, goes to the net, takes the backhand. I think it's Havlet, in fact. Yes, indeed, able to poke that loose puck, Hutchinson. Unable to cover that puck up. You see it's loose right there. Well, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> maybe it is. Let's look again. I'm not sure if Havlet got a piece or not. We will see. But whoever scored Patrick Elias Havlet, they cut the lead to 2-1, to one and they're back in this game. Normally, players don't care. <laughs> I think even Martin Havlat might prefer to see Patrick Elias get the I would have any. to agree with you, Steve. No doubt about it. Be a big lift for Patrick, but good play through the neutral zone. Real nice pass from Havlat to Elias. Right there, and Patrick, see how he picks that up, up off his skate in stride and able to get the good backhand there. Havlat goes hard to the net. I don't know if he got a stick on it or not. They're giving the goal initially to Martin Havlat. Let's see how that plays out for the rest of the night. Eliash and Bruner credited with the assists for now. As the longest goal drought of Eliash's career continues, but a big part of the play. And let's see if that ignites a Devils comeback as it's worked ahead to Michael Froli. He darts around Andy Green, slowed up just enough on the play, and the loose puck taken away by Gianta. Well, you know, just when the Jets, Jets were so stifling, the Devils picked it up late in the second period, and you see on that power play, hoping that gives them some life and they feel better about their chance of getting something out of this game. Here's Stewart in the neutral zone for Winnipeg. Got only so far with it and feathered across by Damian Bruner. Punched ahead by Larson. Taken away by Bufflin at center ice. 2-1 hockey game. Devils scoring on just their 11th shot of the night on the goaltender, Michael Hutchinson. Andre Pavlik played both ends of a back-to-back -back over the weekend. Helgeson ties up Bufflin, trying to pull the trigger in front Perot. He was defended away by Henrique. Go Jets, go chance starts up here in the third period. And that pass gets all the way to Bruner, who darts back for the Devils and dumps in. Tail end of his shift. Devils change all five on the fly. Three minutes into period three. Truba lost his edge and lost control of the puck. Now Yager tried to work it across to Camilleri. And punched ahead by the Jets. On this puck, Brian Little. Pass in front. That was Andy Green who got tied up. Work back towards the point. Enstrom can't hold the zone, and here's Yager racing down the near side. Sealed off by Bogosian. Yager still going and takes control. Centering try, trying to get it to Cavallari, but deflected away. Also, some end to end action here. Both teams playing tight defensively once either of them gained the zone. 
Jelena works it ahead. Yager tries to pick up Havlat. Broken up by the Jets and back the other way comes Froelich. Yager check, gave away the puck. Froelich shot, big save made by Schneider. On the shot by Froelich from the circle. Controlled by Winnipeg. Work back to the point, Shifley covering there on the stick save by Corey Schneider again. Answering back, the Jets here on this shift, but it's taken by Jelena, who works it ahead, and Havlat guides it out of the zone. Yager sends Elias on his way. Patrick Elias shoots, and that's deflected off Stewart Wise. Well, Patrick Elias, you just feel he's got something going on here now, and he's going to continue to shoot. And let's see if he can't get this game even because you just feel Patrick's coming. He had a nice assist there, a good game last game. Gianta in his own end. Over 15 minutes to play in this third period. Devils gain the zone and Zubra sends it in deep. Gianta delivers a hit. Postman takes the puck and the outlet pass here for Matt Hallis Chuck. One time Devils draft pick and player for a brief time. Matt Hallis Chuck. Hammered by Michael Ryder, but he still has the puck and sends it off the side of goal. Loose in front that popped up high and went wide of Schneider's cage. Slater with the great opportunity right in front. Winnipeg has the Devils scrambling in their end a little bit, and they finally get it out. Love down by Rutu. His shot is fired away wide. Hammered back in by Bernier. Party with a hit on Rutu. Centering try by Tuomo Rutu. Deflects to Bufflin. Who works it away to the stick of Evander Kane? That's broken up by the Devils, and Henrique tried to send it back the other way. Boy, Kane and Bufflin playing on the same line. The speed and the power, they complement each other well. In the early stages of seeing those two together, centering try by Perot. Comes back to Stewart, he shoots. What a big block by Bernier. Another try is blocked by Bernier again. Now it's offside. Two huge blocks by Steve Bernier. You mentioned it, Steve. Point blank shots, and we're going to look at the Devils' first goal of this hockey game to get within one. Patrick Elias with the backhander, and you see Bogosian puts it back into Hutchinson because he Hutchinson because he didn't know where it was. But there's Marty Havlin crashing the net, and it's hard to tell from that angle whether he got a skate or stick on it, but. He just may have, and the goal was credited to Marty Havlin. More importantly, from a Devils standpoint, they get themselves in the game and avoid a disaster there with two big blocks from Steve Bernier. I could be wrong, Dano. I often am, people tell me, but I still think that could be changed to Patrick Elias. I don't know if we've seen any definitive proof that Havlat touched the puck. Broken up by Enstrom and punched back the other way. Over the line, Blake Wheeler. Drops it back for Little, and his pass broken up by Yager. Severson works it across, controlled by Zajac. Nifty little pass for Camilleri, and that shot is fired away high. Taken by the Jets, and worked back into the Devils' end. No icing here as Wheeler is pinned against the boards by Andy Green. Tangled up in the Devils' end. Little tries to walk in front with it. And Camilleri, man who actually had the first goal ever in the NHL in this building, as a member of the Montreal Canadiens, sends it away. Well, Winnipeg again applying some pressure. Defenseman really supporting the attack. Here's Lowry going wide on Zidlitsky. This winds around to the stick of Elias. He'll take it away. And pass gets by Damian Bruner. Chopped that by Zidlitsky, picked up at center, and now Marek Zidlitsky back at his own end with Truba giving chase. Taken away by Havlat, works it across, and he's got Damian Bruner on the move here. Bruner, he'll shoot, and he fires it wide. Larson back in his own end, shovels it across for Jelena. Devils trailing 2-1. Starting to mount a comeback here in the third on the goal that's credited for now to Martin Havlock. Larson sends it back in. Adam Henry, first game back from injury. Centering try for Ryder, but that's broken up. Back the other way comes Bufflin. 
The Jumbo Jet on the move. That was Kane going for the net. It deflected off his stick. Party with a neat little move. Walked in front. And it's banked away by the Devils. Kept alive by Postma. Kane turns and shoots on the save made by Schneider. Devils trying to weather a little storm here in their own end. Kane to Perot. Checked by Rutu. Here's Evander Kane working it out of the corner. Helgeson will give chase. He's hit by Bufflin. That gets a rise out of the crowd, but the Devils have the puck. And here's Rutu. Works it across. Zajac off the bench. Tries the move in front. Swept aside by Hutchinson. Shot by Severson. Pad saved by Hutchinson. Devils keep it in the zone. Here's Yager guiding it down low. Zajac for Green. He shoots and he fires wide. Wow, what a chance for Andy Green. Zajac again in front. Trickles to Hutchinson and he holds on. 11 one to go. Here come the Devils. We're back in Winnipeg in a moment. We have found Damon Severson's parents. This is his dad. Now, he said that you guys watched the game so quietly. He was right on. You, I, I was watching. He's even deep in his own zone and barely a flinch. Hey, we, we're just loving it. We love being here. This is the first time we've seen him all year. Love Devils hockey. Here we go. So what is it like for you to watch him then, first time? Oh, uh, just loving it. Really, this is the first time I've seen an NHL game here. So really excited. We're excited to come to New Jersey at Christmas. So just everything's going great. What has he said his time in the NHL has been like so far? Oh, outstanding. Really, you know, everything's been going so smooth. Uh, you just take a look at it. Uh, the Devils have made everything so good for a young 20-year-old guy. He's doing great. Right, so it's easy to see where he gets his good humor from and his laid-back, calm existence from. Thank you so much, and congratulations on your son being here. Thanks, Deb, and make sure you say hi to Steve and Ken up top there. They do a great job, too. I think you just did say hi, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, that's special for the Seversons. They made the drive from Melville, Saskatchewan. He was born in Brandon, Manitoba, nearby, as Camilleri fakes the shot, and then that follow-up try is deflected away wide. Moved at the age of two, Damon Severson did to Saskatchewan. There's a penalty coming up. Yeah, it looks like an inverted high stick from Mike Camilleri is going to go off here. You saw Bogosian go down, and hopefully it's only, oh, it's, I, I apologize. It was Travis Sajak. You saw Camilleri react to that, but I don't even know if Travis realized he got him. And we see this so often. We're going to watch here. Right there, you see, yep, Travis is kind of tied up a little, and somehow he his stick, stick flings forward, catches the Gojin, and fortunately it's only two minutes as he seems not to draw any blood. Henrique, Eliash start the kill for the Devils. Jets win the faceoff. Worked across. That pass picked off by Andy Green. But controlled nevertheless by Perot. Tries to walk in front with it. And Eliash hammers it away and sends it the length of the ice. Again, good job on the penalty kill. And good sticks. Andy Green doing a great job in his own end along with Henrique here and Eliash. Green went for the hip check. Got a little bit of Kane. Played across, here's Enstrom. Gives to Bogosian and shovels this off. Perot down low. Kane centering try for Bufflin. He pulled the trigger, he fired it wide. Well, the big man set up in front. A bang, bang play. I think he thought, how did I miss that? But he was right on top of Corey Schneider. Broken up at the line by Gianta and sent across to Camilleri. Tries the knuckler in the direction of Hutchinson and picked up here by Enstrom. Just over a minute to go on the Jets power play. Devils need a goal to tie. It's 2-1, 9.15 to go in the third period. Yeah, looking to kill the rest of this penalty off. And he's watched Hutchinson most of the night. He's been bobbling some pucks. The problem is the Devils haven't gotten too many toward him. So kill this penalty, then get as many shots as you can. As we saw, the first goal was from him bobbling the puck. Gianta sends it in deep. Zubris took a hit from Bogosian, but stays strong on the puck. And worked away here to the stick of Ladd. Gave it away to Zubris. Recaptured by Ladd, and he'll send Wheeler on his way. Blake Wheeler gains the zone, sends it in deep. Loose behind the New Jersey net, and there's Severson in front of the family, works it out of the zone, 
on the penalty kill. It's picked up here by Rutu. He puts the brakes on. Able to pick up Yager, who shoots, and the save is made by Hutchinson. Again, the rebound right in the high slot on a weak shot. Wheeler darts back the other way. Goes wide on Jelenon. Played behind the net. Here's Scheifele. Penalty time is up. Zajac is out of the box. Devils penalty kill perfect again so far tonight. Now Yager over the line. Works this for Zajac, and now the return feed. Yager picks up Zidlitsky. Shoot, save made by Hutchinson. Rebound sits there again, and Yager will get on it. Works it behind goal. Picked up here by Zajac. Cycles for Yager, but that's broken up by Scheifele for the Jets, and lifted to center. Yager buys some time and guides this back to Jelena. Devils use the time to change players. Broken up at center by Lowry and played by Schneider. He decides to stop the clock with seven and a half to go. It'll give us a chance to step aside. Two to one, the Jets continue to lead in Winnipeg. Here are tonight's Timberland Pro Hard Hits highlights. You see Zidlitsky gets the man there. Bernier on Lowry. Big collision with Van der Kane. And there's Big Bufflin on Seth Helgeson. Well, those are your Timberland pro hard hits. And anytime you run into Dustin Bufflin, you're going to feel it. <laughs> Here's Kane, who's the team leader in hits since his return from injury. And that's stopped by Schneider. Back the other way come the Devils. Here's Eliash. Worked across that deflected right on goal to Hutchinson, who made the pad save. Well, that was a big save there. Kane's shot is held by Schneider. Pretty close to tying that game up. Tonight's upcoming schedule is brought to you by Lexus. The trip continues Friday in Edmonton. That game will start on MSG Plus 2. At the conclusion of coverage of the Islanders game Friday, it'll be on MSG Plus as well. Then Saturday night in Calgary at 10 o'clock on Plus. And the Western Canadian trip concludes 10 p.m. in Vancouver a week from tonight. Also on MSG Plus. It's a good one here. Glad you're with us. 2-1 Winnipeg leading against New Jersey. Here's Party at the point. He's tied up by Ryder. Fans wanted a penalty and they're going to get it. To the bench goes Hutchinson and Froelich will dart back as the Jets get the extra attacker on. Well, Adam Party, we saw that a couple of shifts ago. Dancing around the player and didn't know he was capable of that. But he drew a penalty here. The clock stopped as it's controlled by Ryder, and before the Devils mount a comeback, they're going to be in a penalty kill again. Yeah, not the right time, but Michael Ryder tried to tried to get his arm away from Adam Party, but he's such a big man, it ended up wrapping around him. He couldn't let go and get loose. Party helped out the cause with the left arm, kind of hugging Ryder's stick, but he made a pretty nifty move to get around Michael Ryder to draw the penalty. It's a hold. Winnipeg power play is 0 for 4 coming into this chance tonight. Face off. Controlled by Larson behind the net. Loose at the side of the net. And picked up here by Camilleri. He'll skate it away. Short-handed, he's got Andy Green with him. Crosses up with the Devils defenseman and goes wide on Enstrom, who broke it up. Boy, it'd be nice to see the Devils get a short-handed goal. They haven't done that much. Zajac tries to funnel it ahead. Camilleri, no shot to get there in time. He'll head to the bench. Devils opt to get fresh legs on. 90 seconds to go in the penalty kill. Kane, hop, skip, and a dance, tries to get around Green. No can do. And the Devils will get it out to center. Zach Bogosian for the Jets. Off the skate of Bufflin. And the big power forward controls. Guides it around the boards. Kane to Bogosian. Now Green in the corner. Given away by Kane. And Eliash works it across. Taken here by Henrik. Crosses up with Elias. Drops for Henrik. And the shot by Severson. He shanked it. Devils stay with the shorthanded. And Henrik all the way back for Helgeson. That was a great opportunity. And great passing by Elias. Henrik to Severson. He had a great angle, but he just fanned on the shot. 
They pick up Wheeler at center ice. Poked ahead by Helgeson. Devils won't let the Jets gain the zone, and now Gianta chases them back. Under half a minute to go, and the Jets power play. Postma works it ahead. And this is fired in by Truba. Gianta. Checked by Ladd. Cleared away by Severson. A great job by the Devils. All night long, but in particular on this penalty kill. And even going on the offensive, getting some chances. Little. Final seconds of the man advantage. Played in deep, picked up by Camilleri. Devils penalty kill tonight. Again, perfect. Five for five. Now they look for the tying goal. Ryder for Camilleri, and he rang it off the post. Devils have hit the post twice tonight. Yager and Camilleri now. Zidlitsky follows up and sends in deep. Truba can't bank it out of the zone. The hold by Zidlitsky. Able to drop it for Camilleri. That shot. Yager jamming at it at the doorstep. Zajac takes. Camilleri pulls the trigger. Loose in front of the net. And the quick whistle. Oh. Hutchinson might not have had it settled. <laughs> so close. We'll step aside. 4-10 to go in the third. Devils come so close to tying this hockey game. Michael Ryder steps out of the penalty box. Takes a pass right here off the boards. And he curls up. Finds... A streaking Mike Camilleri, and he rifles one off the post. Right there again, you see Post and just outside. And again, the Devils get another chance on a shot that was deflected. Yager able to poke that free, but the whistle was blown. And Devils applying some pressure here, Steve. They've done a great job in the penalty kill. Haven't had enough offensive pressure, but we've seen much more late in the second and parts of this third period. Let's see if they can get that equalizer. Lowry darts back the other way for Winnipeg. Stick the side by Schneider. They score on the rebound. Michael Frohlich to extend it to 3-1. Well, just as the Devils came so close to tying this game up, an innocent-looking play, kind of harmless. In fact, and the shot is just taken by Lowry on the net, but the rebound goes right out to Prolik, and nobody there to pick him up. Bangs that right into the empty net. That's an easy one, because it comes right in his wheelhouse. And again, I'm not sure the Devils could do a whole lot on that one. Maybe the rebound kicked out to the side, but it happens to go right to Prolik. Here's the Jets, the two-goal lead again. That's too bad because the Devils had something going on. And it looked like they might have tied it up. Rue two, back to the point. Severson fakes one shot. This is held by Hutchinson. Boy, it really came against the run of play, didn't it? After Camilleri hits a post. And then the quick whistle that followed on the chance by Yager. Yeah, you've seen the Devils get a lot more shots in this period. But there you see the... Innocent looking shot from Lowry from the left side. Froley gets himself in good position right in front. Puck goes right on his tape, and all he has to do is put it in the empty net. And that's a good point, Steve. It did go against the flow. It seemed everything was going the devil's way. Getting some chance. They have 19, 20 shots on goal now, and they didn't have many halfway through this period. Another try by Wheeler from the far side is stopped by Schneider. And Zedlitsky back in his own end. So back to a two-goal lead as it's worked ahead. Zajac. Sends it around Enstrom. Loose at the side of the net. Yager trying to find the handle. Now Zajac follows and takes the puck. Camilleri back to the point. Good hold by Green. Good pass to Zidlitsky as well. Marek Zidlitsky walks in, shoots. A save by Hutchinson, who holds. This is the game recap brought to you by our Tri Honda dealers. Matthew Perot, Michael Frolik with big goals tonight for Winnipeg. Martin Havlat has scored in two straight games. They're sticking with that officially on the stat sheet. Havlat from Eliash. 3 to 1 game with 243 to go. Off the draw. 
Eliash quickly sent it in the direction of goal, and Bufflin able to work it away from Henrique. Jacob Truba knocked down on the play by Henrique. Jars the puck loose. Havlat trying to find the handle, but Stewart collects here for Winnipeg. Start of a four-game Western Canadian road trip for the Devils tonight as Bufflin tries to one-hand it in front to Schneider, but broken up. And Eliash now with Perot providing the forecheck. Bouncing puck at center, collected by Bufflin, who fires back in. And now Schneider at the side of his cage. We'll keep an eye on Corey Schneider with the Devils down two. Funneled ahead by Jelena, intercepted by Scheifele. He shoots just as Corey Schneider started to make his way to the bench. This puck deflects out of play. Yeah, uh, Shifley making some nice moves inside the blue line, but deflected out of play. And Schneider desperately trying to make his way to the bench. And if you look at this hockey game and overall, Steve, I mean, you look at the way the Jets came out with great speed early on this game and carried it through a lot of the second period, but the Devils showed moments, just not enough sustained pressure in the offensive end early on. And it's been tough sledding since then, and Winnipeg is playing a very tight defensive game, especially the first 30 minutes. This is what they've done rather well from the beginning of the season, Winnipeg. They cut down goals against from a year ago just drastically. And even as Paul Maurice tinkered with lines, he said, how can I do this without affecting the defensive structure of my team coming into tonight? Minute 15 to go here as it's sent back into the Devils' end. On the change, Schneider heads to the bench. Devils get the extra attacker on, and now Zajac. Following up is Yager, bouncing puck, Ryder with a shot, and that deflected just wide. Picked up here by Zedlitsky. Hutchinson did enough to deny Michael Ryder. Another big chance, but it's a close call and nothing more for the Devils. Now Scheifele to Lowry. This puck pops up high and just wide of the net. And Frolik will funnel that back. 40 seconds to go. You, you mentioned Michael Ryder, Steve. That was a good, quick shot, and Hutchinson just enough of it. Here's Eliash motoring ahead. Camilleri across, picks up Severson, who shoots it wide. Ryder back to Jelena. His shot is fired wide. Severson again with a try. Devils firing from all angles, but as Ryder loses his edge, Scheifele takes the puck. This is for Olik. Evander Kane with the net empty, sends it away wide. And in the final seconds at the MTS Center, fans in Winnipeg salute the Jets. They come back home, and they defeat the Devils 3-1. Well, well played game for the most part by the Winnipeg Jets. Good sound defensive game, using a lot of speed. They got a team that can really skate, Steve, and when they get going through the neutral zone, they're tough to contain, but the Devils have some good moments in this game, just not quite enough and lose three to one. Tonight's goal of the game is brought to you by Nissan. Choose Nissan today for great offers on our most exciting lineup ever. Shop at choosenissan.com. And our Nissan goal of the game is the third one. Lowry picks off the pass in the neutral zone, takes an innocent-looking shot from the left side, but Froelich's there to clean up the rebound. Goes right on his tape, and that is your Nissan goal of the game. Devils mount a comeback with the late goal by Havlat, but the Jets... Restored the two-goal lead late and win it 3-1. to one. Devils Oilers on Friday on MSG Plus 2. The post-game show is coming up next, live from Winnipeg when we come back.